what's going on guys today we're going to be talking about the beekeeper we're doing a bit of a movie review today so that's going to be a bit different uh the first movie of 2024 that i've seen this year i kind of want to do more movie reviews obviously we'll still continue with the music and uh yeah let's get into the beekeeper but if you guys are new here and you guys want to see some more movie reviews or music rev reviews make sure you guys subscribe and uh, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoy it. Now with The Beekeeper, it's a Jason Statham movie, and to be honest, it's a Jason Statham movie. That's the most I can say about this movie. It is, you get a Jason Statham movie, if you like Jason Statham movies, like, you know, those action-y, those like, they don't really have like, they have a story, but it's not like you're there for the story. You're kind of just there to like, see someone get beat up in cool fight scenes, you know what I mean? I feel like it does a good job at that. So let's start off with the plot of The Beekeeper. The Beekeeper is basically, him as a retired beekeeper uh which is known as a organization that has like a bunch of i don't know if they're assassins or if they're just killers uh the way they made it sound in the movie is like they were just hitman and they just made it seem like they were like basically just like good at fighting and like they were just like crazy hitman or something like that and then later in the movie you find out this old lady gets scammed that he was friends with um she loses all her money and uh yeah uh he basically ends up having to go seek revenge on them because spoiler alert she and the girl that is his friend she basically ends up killing herself then he goes on a rampage and starts killing everyone and it's cool and all right the story is just all right like i said before i think you're kind of there for the action sequences and kind of just there to see some cool fights which i can get down with you know it's i'm not really going into a jason statham movie thinking this is going to be movie of the year you know what i mean but i feel like it's going to be a nice fun movie i can just chill and relax to so for the plot i'm thinking like a 6 6.5 now as far as the action sequence goes how the fights are um and how good the kills or how good the uh knock takedowns were and everything i honestly feel like it was decent i feel like it was a uh, it was good obviously it's a 2024 movie so the cgi is going to be decent it's gonna be better than his previous movies and i do honestly i i can say that the kills i was waiting for it to get gory within like the first 30 minutes uh because i think it's rated r if i'm not mistaken and i was like okay um this is cool i guess i was kind of hoping it for it to be more gory and then literally when i was thinking that some dude's fingers get sliced off so i'm like okay we we here for it we here for it you know what i mean one thing i will say about the action sequence is you see that he kills all the bad people or the antagonist i guess you should say but he never actually ends up killing any like police officers or social security uh, guards or whatever and things like that which i thought was a key detail that some movies kind of miss out on so for action i give it a 7.5 now for the script and the dialogue guys i gotta be honest there is about there are so many if you, if you guys think the movie is called the beekeeper and there's not going to be a beekeeper reference in here or a bee reference you're wrong because there's so many of them um literally at the end of the movie there's like a thing where he's like like he almost gets taken down he almost gets shot but really he has a plan and the dude is like oh the bad the bad guy who's trying to kill jason statham he's like oh you got the beekeeper here to be or not to be and jason statham's on his knees like this and then he's like pause and then he's like i choose to be and i'm like all right you know what i mean like it's it, it's 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 corny lines but it's not like a, like i said i'm just not really going into a jason statham movie thinking it's gonna be crazy or it's gonna be my favorite movie of the year i'm just going in there for nice cool fights with a cool story and if the story is good enough i guess it'll bump it up a few but i'm not going into it thinking i'm getting the best story or i'm giving the i'm getting the best acting i'm just going in for cool fights so for script and dialogue i gave it five i see i feel like this seems fair and for cinematography to be honest it's not going to be that long uh cinematography when i'm going to this movie it's a beekeeper movie again it's action so how well the camera fits with the action i think they did a great job with the fighting when the fighting was happening um there were some cool shots in here i'm a big cinematography fan like i like i like simple but breathtaking shots if that makes sense so when i was looking at this movie i didn't think i was going to get any of that but i thought that they did a good job for an action movie you know if i had to say something that is sort of related to this but not as good is this is kind of like a cocaine bear for me if you guys have seen cocaine bear then you guys kind of know that that movie was necessarily it, it, it was bad but it was a good bad movie if that makes sense like the script was not the best but 
it was gory and it was funny that's what cocaine bear was and it obviously had so many references to a, a bear on cocaine that's i feel like what they were doing here with the beekeeper they had so many references to him being a beekeeper and honey and bees in general and yes it was gory not as gory as cocaine bear in my opinion and definitely wasn't really funny at all it had some jokes in there but it just it wasn't trying to be funny i don't think but it was still good i still enjoyed it so overall i gave it like a six and a half to seven it, it i was just feeling kind of cool out with it again i'm not going into this movie thinking it's movie of the year i'm not going back to this movie being like that's a must watch for the year um i will say the trailer does not do this movie justice though i think the movie is a lot better than what the trailer is showing and I think if you like the trailer, that you'll probably be a bit more surprised with what you get what you get out of the movie than the actual trailer. Other than that, guys, there's nothing really that I need to say anymore. It's a Jason Statham movie about the beekeeper. If you guys have seen Jason Statham movies, you guys know how his movies go. Um, he kind of just has a good action sequence and is a good fighter, basically. And that's kind of what you get here. So it's cool anyways y'all that was this movie let me know if you guys want to see any other movies there's going to be some more i want to do this weekend for sure i just don't know what movies i'm going to have time to see if you guys enjoyed this review uh leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more because the subscribe always it lets you know when my next video comes out because i'm not very consistent and it also lets you uh lets me know that i'm doing a good job so uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace